Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Maximum PC. Build a $350 kick-ass PC. My father keeps getting me subscriptions of this stuff. Way back in the day, it actually helped out quite a bit to have subscriptions of this kind of stuff because it came with uh, discs that had a lot of really useful information and stuff and programs on it. But I don't find that kind of stuff in here anymore. I do find really cool stuff. Anyways... In this episode, I will be ripping out any page that is an advertisement, or that has an advertisement, on one side or the other. Because I really want to get to the bottom of how much information I got here. Lots of cool information. I love the front articles. Always have. Always. iTunes finally crashes out. Libra and Facebook. This is all kind of old information now, right? la dee da all these advertisements for $7.99 US. Let's see what I actually get. So it's kind of, oh, I love the messages of the doctor. These things are always great. Good stuff all the time, all the time. Build a $350 kick-ass PC. That's a, that's American money, Vengeance Ryzen. You gotta have the Ryzen. Geez, these days the Ryzen just blows stuff out of the water. I got these mini systems with the Ryzen R6. Seven, I think it was and uh, mini says the Ryzen just blowing things out of the water but I'm wondering if they'll last the test of time all of the old AMD I this one back there all of the old AMD stuff that I ever got all the old AMD stuff that I ever got uh, just dies all of a sudden it just dies and people bring it to me like, no, but it's dead. And I try everything. And I just can't get the things to live again. And I'm worried that's what's going to happen with these Ryzen systems. Anywho. Can we just all take a second and appreciate this? I seen this earlier and I was like, what you say? 20 bucks for 120 gigabyte SSD. Oh, mon dieu. Yeah, like, thank God. Like, I, I can't complain. I can't complain. The Corsair Spec 05. I've, I've seen that. Very cheap, very cheap, very cheap power supply. Reminding me, uh, Matt, I will get to your system. I will get to your system, I will. Yeah. So, anyways, we go out and we pay like eight bucks for this stuff, and then we still get advertisements on the inside. And we think the advertisement would subsidize the material, but it doesn't seem to be that way. It's like we all have to pay a huge price so that uh, other people might get to play with big computers, or I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works. It just doesn't seem right to me. It doesn't seem right. I get a lot of people that get upset with my teardown videos and stuff. You can consider this one of them. Okay, this stuff in the back of like tech porno, this beautiful laptop. I'm like, yeah, it's a laptop with inputs and stuff. And some people would be, I'm sure some people would be blown away by that, but not me. It is not my thing. Looking at systems I'd probably never even be in front of. Oh, the teardown, the Pixel A 3A. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see what kind of motherboard we got there. Is that the motherboard? That's the smallest motherboard I've seen. Well, then again, I, mean, I don't know anything in reference to that size. That is a very small motherboard for a cell phone. It's got lots going on. Lots going on. Interesting battery. Oh, wait. That's what I have for a reference. That SIM card holder. My goodness. That thing is super small. I wonder if that thing's waterproof. Yeah, not like my iPhone 6. Shoot, I fall down with my iPhone in my pocket, and uh, it's toast. It's toast, but yeah, good stuff. Every now and then, they have good articles in the back. You guys remember back in the day, there was GamePro. Sometimes GamePro would give you, like, a secondary little booklet in the back. That's how I learned how to do HTML. Oh, automate tasks. Uh, Windows automate tasks. Very good stuff. I recommend you guys check this out. Raspberry Pi. Man, we should start selling Raspberry Pi magazines with raspberry pi zeros on the inside oh, i hear some people out there they're heartbreaking like oh no you're ripping apart a magazine if you're destroying that it's like you're destroying all information everywhere and you're a book burner and that kind of stuff yeah get off it i bet you're a hoarder okay let's see what we got not as bad as pc world 10 years ago was but then again this is nowhere near the same size. How thick we got? How thick do I got it? Versus 
Oh yeah, they got a whole lot more these days. Look at that. Look at that. There's no comparing. There's there's no comparing. Back in the day, this is the PC world, and the advertisements were. There were a lot more advertisements. There were a lot more advertisements, and I think there's about the same amount of actual content. You guys remember the PC world back in the day? Anyways, thanks for coming on that adventure with me, ladies and gentlemen. I love this stuff. You should definitely check out Maximum PC. You can see it for a good price, but seriously, for the money you pay here, wow. Yeah, I guess you have a lot of money to be throwing into this kind of stuff. And there's just something you said about having a magazine you can take to the shitter with you. Just, you know, chill out for a second. Physical stuff. That's where it's at. Anyways, that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one. Take care of